The Schoolock Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Community answers questions on everybody's mind right now politically. But I decided to go ahead and explore this scenario that if Trump don't leave, you know, he probably don't have no plans to, you know, get stimulus or not. You know, you don't know what he's tweeting this and that every day. You know, we not partisan. You know, we with him if he giving stimulus we you know we not with them if he not giving stimulus i mean that's basically what you know this channel is about but anyway we not partisan whoever gives stimulus go ahead and give stimulus that's the but let's just explore this idea i'm gonna pass it to my homeboy james james go ahead and take this away the school lock stimulus lighthouse alert community presents here's what could take place if an ex-president refuses to leave the white house with President Trump constantly making contrasting statements on whether he'd leave office in January 2021, the concept of a peaceful transfer of power is becoming murkier day by day. The question of who would be accountable for physically removing a president from the White House matters for maybe the very first time in modern day history. At the moment, it is uncertain who would have to manage such a nightmare scenario on Inauguration Day, but possible gamers include the newly elected president and the Secret Service. If a losing president still inhabits the White House after his term expires in late January, the newly elected president would likely have the power to direct the Secret Service to eliminate that individual from the properties, because any federal representatives would no longer report to the old president. Even though previous presidents maintain a Secret Service detail, they are civilians after their terms end, and would no longer have governmental powers. Last week, when asked by a press reporter, Trump declined to make sure a transfer of power if he felt like the election wasn't sincere, rotating to mail-in tallies, which he feels are rife with deceptive votes. We'll have to see what takes place, he said. You know that I've been highly complaining about the ballots, and the tallies are a disaster. Eliminate the ballots and we'll have a really tranquil there won't be a transfer, frankly, there'll be an extension. This previous June, Biden appeared on The Daily Show with Trevor Noah and said it was his belief that military leaders wouldn't let Trump stay in the White House past his term if he lost. You have so many rank-and-file military workers stating, well, we're not a military state, this is not who we are, he said. I promise you, I'm absolutely convinced, they will escort him, Trump, from the White House in a dispatch. Nevertheless, contrary to Biden's statement, the armed force would not involve itself in election disputes. In reaction to a House question to the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley, he made a commitment to that impact. In the event of a dispute over some element of the elections, by law U.S. courts and the U.S. Congress are required to resolve any disputes, not the U.S. military, he stated. We will not turn our backs on the Constitution of the United States. 